guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91. And yes, you read the title right. E3 2022 has been canceled. Not just the physical event, both events. There should be no E3 this year. Now, E3 hasn't had a physical event since the pandemic started. And they are in California, at least that's where they have the event. So I really think that this year they may have been hoping for a physical event, but even though the pandemic is slowing down, California, I think, did, or I don't know if it still does, but I think they did have stricter rules than certain other states. So perhaps they weren't able to have the physical event this year, or maybe they weren't able to have it as big as they would like it, where it to be a significant amount of profit. So maybe they're just like, listen, we're just going to cancel. I don't know if the digital events last year, the year before, have really been helping them money-wise, but maybe they're just like, hey, we just going to cancel this year because maybe they can't do the physical event and the digital event just doesn't make them much money. But it is kind of sad because E3 provided at least one time of year where you knew you were going to get a bunch of gaming announcements, basically. It wasn't like the random directs or state of plays or game showcases that sometimes just get announced, sometimes like shortly before they actually happen. Like you basically knew when E3 was and you basically knew when you would have to watch Nintendo's Direct or Xbox Games Showcase or Ubisoft or EA, you basically knew. So it's kind of sad that there's not that time this year, but hopefully next year, God willing, they'll kick it back up and it'll be back full throttle. But what do you guys think about them actually canceling E3 2022? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.